What up, YouTube? So today is going to be part five of how to build a budget case series. And today I'm just going to be explaining uh, rocker assembly as far as for the true VTEC and then for the basically uh, economical VTEC. So like I said, I don't know if you watched the videos before, but uh, economic VTEC is 12 valves and it goes into 16 valves when VTEC and then with the true VTEC, these pins lock in and use the center cam, which is this one right here, to run off of that instead of the two smaller ones on the side. So right now I'm basically gonna take all this apart just in case some people might have had this issue where they come apart, uh, the rock side of the rocker arm start coming apart and then they lose um, the pins and everything that comes out. So let me get this stand on here real fast so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so usually they slide out like these kind of come apart and what will happen is if you don't even sometimes with the these zip ties they still come loose but I just want to show you guys just in case they come out I'm gonna take it all apart. So the rocker basically on the right side has a spring. So it has a spring and like a top hat. That's going to be like the little pusher one. Like I said, that's the right side one. And you can tell because it's, it has the oil hole on this side. And then on the other side, which would be the left side, it doesn't have the hole. So you see the difference. And then the left side has a complete dowel. So I can push that one down. So it's just a complete dowel. So that one goes in like that. It goes in flush. So you gotta make sure, cause these all have to come by. And then the middle one is a shaft as well. So it's a little bit longer and it has to be flush as well. So I believe these ones are the same as far as the uh you being able to use these so i'm gonna go ahead and take these apart real fast for the non-traditional vtech which is economical vtech basically and i'm going to take these off and kind of explain because some people were asking me about um uh vtech killer so i guess we can kind of explain that and how that is VTEC killer is basically going to be using all of these on both sides. So I'll give you an example. If we have let's see, let's just say we decided to do VTEC killer setup, which would be on the other head. It wouldn't be on this one, but just to show you an example, when you put them on, they'd basically be like that. And so VTEC would always be engaged. So I don't know if that makes sense. So when you put all four of them, um, which I can do, I'll just take it apart. But let me get back to using the actual, it's actually a glare right here. All right, so with these ones, like I said, it has the, the push. So you'll be able to use this one. It's actually on the right side. It's on the opposite side. I mean the left side instead of the right side. So, but it's still usable. And then since I lost some of these, we're going to go over all of these to make sure that they're all still good. Cause I did lose a couple, but yeah, let's see. All right, so yeah, this one, like I said, it's the longer one. So this one would go into the middle and I'll swap them out just to show you guys. Oh wait, is this the one? I mean, either way they work, but yeah, so. I'm gonna start looking for all the ones that came loose right now. So I'm gonna disconnect all of these, Let's see which one's missing. So this one's got the pin with the spring. This one's got the pin inside. And then 
this one is all good with the pin inside so i think this one had popped out and i had just had put it into the wrong one but the longer one definitely goes into the center for sure so i'm gonna put this back together like i said that's how it is just the pin the short pin long pin and then pin with spring so this is your right side goes into there and then bam they squeeze tight and slide on here that's pretty much it like i said it's just a lot easier if you uh actually um use your zip ties so let's see if i can put these back on just for now because i'm gonna go ahead and take the rest off just to show you guys it's not too hard but it is when you don't have them together so just to make sure these are all good we're just gonna take it all apart plus i want to clean all these out and make sure there's not water inside of them so this one's already popping out. I think most of these were good. I just think the two outer ones were popped out. All right, so has this, yeah, these are all good. Push rod. All right, so, I mean, you guys kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the rest of these real fast and see if anything's missing. All these are good. Okay, this one's missing the push one. So I'll take this one, put it right here. Good, and it has the middle rocker, it's upside down. So I might have to flip this one actually upside down. So that one's good. This one is missing the spring one as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off of here. That one's easier to come off. All right, so we got our spring. These actually look a little bit longer, but it's probably just more pressure on it. Should still be good. All right, so looks like we got a complete set on all those, but yeah, so let me go ahead and take the rest of these off so I can show you guys the VTEC killer setup, just an example. So we kind of go like this. And the thing about the thing is about the VTEC killer setup though is you, you probably want to get tuned. I think you have to get tuned, or it's just gonna be like real like lumpy since the idle is gonna be on its high. Um I was just the ones that I've seen like on EP3s, they idle kind of weird, so you have to kind of get tuned in order for it to idle right. Alright, so pretty much it would sit like that on both sides so this is basically what they do on race cars is they delete the full pins and they just put like I said the one lobe cams and bam that's all you really need you I don't even think that they on the race cams they don't even come with the outer ones maybe they just actually come with the center lobes that are just huge so 
yeah, it's possible to do this setup with stock parts and everything, no problems. Uh, you just have to get the other side for these, which you can find on any A3 head or A4 head or A8 head or even A1 head. So that's just another way to kind of get to, I've seen them push about 195 horsepower uh, with the VTEC killer. So, and that was on the EP3, maybe a little bit more on the K24, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much... All I wanted to talk to you about that. Now we have, uh, someone was asking me about starters and that's actually a pretty good question because uh, some people think that manual and auto are different and it's not really that, it's really just the actual plugs. So, so this one's off of a K20Z3. Or it could be off of an automatic, I don't know. Uh, looking at this harness, this is a Z3. So, all right, so this is a K20Z3 06, like one of these 06 to 11 SI. And uh, this will fit an automatic Accord, anything. They kind of all come, like I said, K24 and Z3 are really similar. So they come with this style uh, plug, which doesn't really matter if you're doing a swap, but if you are trying to replace the starter and you don't want to swap out this plug, this would be the difference. It's this and this. So this is the RSX one. It comes with kind of like the B-series style one. And you can basically run this one to this one. It's kind of hard. You kind of have to bring back the rubber seal, but this one's a lot easier to work on this one. This plug won't work on this one. So other than that, I just want to let you guys know the starters, all automatic and manual ones are the same as far as the starter, um, wire for the signal that's the only part that's different so just wanted to explain that and then now we're gonna go to the type s oil pump and i'm just gonna break it down real quick to uh see also i got some parts in uh, i got my new timing chain kit and then i got all my upper gaskets and sealant with the new head gasket it's just a budget like i said i didn't go all crazy i spent like 50 bucks on that and 100 bucks on that i think so 150 bucks just to make sure like i said all the everything is tight and timing i didn't want to have any problem with the timing getting loose and that ruining the actual uh build so Need to find my impact and then we can start taking this apart so I can show you what I'm talking about when it comes down to checking your gear on your pull on your oil pump. So pretty simple. So these are your this is your gear that uh we're gonna try to pull this out and check for scarring. Just like if anything, like any other thing, you just wanna make sure there's no scarring. So I see a little bit in there. All I'm gonna do is send that down and then we'll put some Lucas. In here, this is what I like to use to lubricate everything and uh, make sure everything spins smooth in here. Then we'll just slap it back together. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I know it ran in the car and everything fine. So um, we'll go ahead, sand that down a little bit, put it back together, and then we'll come back. And I think that'll pretty much be the end of this video. All right, so we're back now. I got that all cleaned up and it's uh, ready. It's all smooth. Um, pretty much I wanted to go over the radiators. Now I got like four of them. This is right here is the TSX one, uh, which will kind of work, I guess, if uh, you have one. 
uh, if you throw the re reservoir, reservoir and you ran it over this side maybe. But I think like for most EGs, this might hit, so maybe it's not that good. This is the Accord one. Uh, I just had this one, they sent it back, I don't know why, so I guess I'll just figure out if it'll work or not. But this one's kinda, the reservoir tip is kinda coming out, so I don't know if that's gonna hit. I'll have to do some pre-testing for both of them, just to kinda give you guys um, an example. And then I got, this is just a stock EG radiator, EK radiator, they work fine. That you don't like necessarily need a dual core a, a completely stock radiator brand new will work perfect and then uh you got the 06 which is this car right here to 11 si which will work also but then you got this stupid radiator cap neck so it kind of sticks out and it'll kind of look tacky on your car so i probably wouldn't recommend that to me the best one is just using a stock radiator especially if you're just trying to get on the road and then you try to use a stock radiator so that's just my opinion on radiators. Other than that, I kind of wanted to show you guys the pin I was talking about. So this little oil jet is kind of just like, a, if anybody's ever done a mini me single cam, like back in the day when you had to take out the jet in the center for VTEC, it's kind of the same concept. So see if I can put this screw in here, just, hold on, let me, It's not really in there that tight. You just gotta kinda get a good grip on it. And once it starts, it should just pop out. Nope. They usually just come right out. This one's being a pain. But yeah, we're gonna be getting to the oil. Hopefully next video, we'll be getting to the oil pump. We have to actually, I'll show you guys, shave it down. Yeah, I think this, uh -oh. yeah, this screw's too, too long. Let me see if I can find something else to dig it out with. But yeah, we actually have uh, the oil pump we have to modify. So we're putting a K20 oil pump. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way down, so we have to shave all this out just to uh, to get that flush on there. So we'll be doing that, putting on the windage tray, and uh, let me see if I can just use one of these. Um, yeah, put the windage tray, and then we'll take the stupid jet out. I gotta find something else to get that out of there, and I gotta get that stupid bolt out of here as well, but. Yeah, other than that, this is going to be it for this video. So pretty much went over the roller rocker assembly, got it all done. I tied them all up with zip ties, so it'll be ready for install when we install the head. Uh, pretty much, like I said, I went over the VTEC killer setup. Like I said, all it is is utilizing this cam from the start. There's basically, that's the only one that will be used. So like I said, you can make power, but you have to probably waste, you're gonna be wasting probably a lot of gas, even tuned, so, just because you're running the high lobe all the time. So next video, we'll be running the pump, we'll be putting the head studs in, and getting everything tightened up, and uh, hopefully our uh, oil pump chain as well, because we're gonna need to install that first, so. If you haven't, like, share, comment, um, subscribe also, and, uh, if you haven't, check out the other part series for part one to part four so you can kind of get caught up on all the parts we started with and how we basically are on a budget. So other than that, stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.